guys, welcome to where am I? Bagaria or Bagaria. Uh, in Sicily, I am about a 15 minute train ride from Palermo. Palermo is the biggest city in Sicily and I'm going there today. When I'm in Palermo, I'm going to try to do a DIY food tour. I saw this first on Kara and Me, which is a hell of awesome travel channel. And I saw them do it in, I think it was Copenhagen. And I'm like, that's a fantastic idea. Because food tours cost upwards of 30 euros. And I'm like, who has that kind of money? So I'm going to try to find some really authentic Sicilian foods. And I'm going to try to find them today and eat them and show you what they are. originated in 
Sticks to Sleep. It is a hard pastry shell filled with ricotta cheese mixed with sugar and topped with powdered sugar. Usually they'll have crushed pistachios or sugared orange peels on the, on the edges of them. Sometimes there'll be some chocolate chips. Today I got the plain old original, nothing else on it. Oh, it's so good. It's so sweet. The interesting thing about the cannoli is that actually it was influenced by the Arabian culture. Because when the Arabians came here, they brought with them the sugar cane. And that was not a thing in Italy before then. So when the Arabians dominated Sicily, they began the sugar cane trade within the country island and um that's when sicily started making a bunch of desserts now ricotta is a cheese from sheep's milk so that was already prevalent in sicily but when they added sugar to it then they can make things like pastries and cannolis which were not a thing before the arabians came in mm. so good orange season but I think that's more in the south of Sicily less in the north of Sicily but their oranges are so big and so sweet and so delicious mm. you have to have one and you can get them for cents at the at the fresh food market I've never eaten so many oranges. Actually, I've probably eaten more oranges since I've been in Italy for three weeks than the entire rest of my life combined. I've been eating at least one a day, if not two or three. That's a lot of oranges. They're really good. The next traditional Sicilian food we have today is canna di panelle, which is bread with fried chickpeas thing. They taste like fried potatoes. But according to Wikipedia, they're chickpeas.
sort of wonderful creaminess. And then on the outside, you have a thick shell of a sugary yumminess. Super sweet. Super sweet. But really good. This is Casada Siciliana. Very, very so it's always interesting when you're traveling and you meet other people who speak English. So I was walking by this restaurant and I'm looking at the menu to see if they have eggplant parmesan because I'm on the hunt for that right now. And there's this other couple, they were looking at the menu too, trying to figure out what it says. And um, then I was like walking by and then the person was like standing in front of me and then so I was like, oh no, you're fine. And then as soon as you hear somebody say something like that, like in English, you're like, oh no, another American. Great. So then we got to talking and their names are Neil and Leslie, a wonderful, very nice couple who travel a lot. They live in Seattle and um, they have a dog. <laughs> That's about all I know about them. But they were super nice. We were talking for probably 10 minutes or more, um, just about where we've been traveling. They gave me some great suggestions for up in the UK. So I'm really excited to use those. And Leslie and Neil, if you're watching, it was fantastic to meet you. I hope you enjoy your Rick Steves trip through Sicily. Um, they're going on a trip through Sicily, it just started. They're going to spend 11 days going around the island and I'm pretty jealous. But they're going to a lot of places that I went to already, so I don't feel too bad. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I did a good job going through Sicily. The only place I know I didn't go was Mount Etna. And I do kind of wish I had, but eh, there's always time, right? I'll go to other volcanoes. I can't find any eggplant parmesan. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna look at another restaurant or two and see if there's anything there. But if not, then I'm just gonna head back to Bagaria because, I mean, honestly, I'm not very hungry anyway. I would eat only for you guys. <laughs>